What you doing, Kara? <laughs> Just getting my little kitchen all cleaned up. We are coming to the end of our trip here in the bean. And did we finally figure out a name for this? Jim. Yeah. We <laughs> went back and forth quite a bit on vanilla bean and all that sort of stuff. But I think we're going to go with Jim Bean. Jim Bean. Yeah. Jim. But we've owned this for a year now, right? This was the first trip we took it on last year, a day after we got it. it yeah, you say that. It has been pretty much a full year. So let's walk around and let them know what we think after a year of owning Jim Bean. <laughs> After a year we thought we should walk you through and let you know what we think of our meaner bean and the problems we've had what we've liked all those sort of things with the bean we probably should let you know where we've actually taken it as well uh, we were discussing it just last night when we were going to bed is have we actually used it enough and Kara was saying well we haven't used it that much I'm like wait a second we've went to Canada in it for 11 days we've we've taken up the mountains we've rented it out once we let a buddy borrow it we took it on you know a few different races so we've actually used it quite a bit and when you when it's so easy to tow you forget how much you use it because it's just simple every time we take it we're like wow that was just really easy as compared to the fifth wheel which can be a little bit more difficult now this does have off-road suspension it's independent i don't know if that's coming through but you have these off-road independent suspension which makes this tow and ride down the road so smooth. It also comes with heavy duty off-road tires. The reason they go with off-road tires is so that they have the thicker sidewall and can handle the rocks and things like that better than a standard tire. It would be nice if you got these tires and wheels that matched your tow vehicle. That way your spare here could be your spare tow vehicle tire as well. Not that we've used the off-road a lot, except driving through the freeways in Washington State. Mm -hmm. They were maybe the worst roads I have ever been on, and I am so glad I had heavy-duty tires and off-road suspension, because I swear there was times this thing took flight behind us. Just the worst roads possible. Washington, get your act together. Is that a true story, Dad? What? Is that a true story about the Washington roads? Oh, yes. I ran across a stretch of uh, Interstate 40 one time that might have been a close comparison, but it's been so long. Yeah, Washington's bad. Now, not every bean is as rugged as this one. They do have a road version. They are really cute and have kind of that vintage, kind of classic feel to them as well. They look like they belong on a beach somewhere. For sure. For sure. Yeah. And then you can even get more aggressive. They have the new black bean that has air suspension and all sorts it's of stuff. It's super aggressive. It's all matte black. It's actually a really good looking trailer as well. Yeah. It, if you are really looking to go off-road with it, that's, I mean, this is plenty capable, but that thing's next level. Yeah, next level. So bean has quite a variety to choose from depending on what type of traveling, what type of camping you're wanting to do. Now, when most people buy a new trailer, in the first year, a lot of people would say it spent most of the time in the shop. So let's talk about what's actually went wrong with this. It spent four hours in the shop. <laughs> that is it. We have had basically zero problems with this trailer. The only pro well, there's two problems. The only problem that we've had to take it in for is the wheel bearing on, I think it was on the passenger side. They put too much grease in it and it was, coming out as we came through Boise on our way back from Canada. So Kara took it into work and the, the guys at work repacked the bearings and it, they just overfilled it. So um, now the bearings are all packed better. So we won't have to worry about that, which it kind of sucked to have to repack the bearings that quick, but you know, little problem. Second problem. Our bean stickers are starting to peel off. I know this is a very nitpicky thing that they're starting to wear. I know that's really nitpicky, but we're being honest with you, but also we paid 40 grand for this thing. So 
it kind of bothers us that the stickers are peeling. Um, I guess we could probably get a hold of Bean and they'd probably just send us new ones. Hey Bean, if you're watching, new stickers. When you order your Bean, you can get a bunch of different configurations up on the front end here, like a cargo rack or a box or whatever. We decided to go with the box because we have our truck, so we can put a lot of stuff in there that, you know, maybe needs ventilation, those sort of things, like a generator, that sort of stuff. There is so much storage in this little box. We can put our solar panel, all of our blocks, our grill, everything in here. Plus, it locks up really nice and secure. So we really like that. It, it has this uh, kind of rhino lining finish. So if you're off-road, you don't have to worry about it denning and all that sort of stuff as if it was like, you know, a diamond plate or something like that. I was kind of pessimistic if I really needed this off-road hitch and how it would tow. It works super slick. And if you're looking to go more off-road than we go, it's nice to have that capability if you need it. Then as we come back, one of my big complaints with this trailer is these two propane bottles. I had to wake up in the middle of the night last night and switch out the propane. Uh, I, I wish this came with a bigger bottle. I don't see why we couldn't have two bigger bottles here. It's probably because a lot of people are towing with less capable tow vehicles. So putting, you know, heavier bottles up front really messes with the weights and maybe makes it too heavy for some people's tow vehicles. But I don't know if it was an option when we ordered and I just missed it, but I'd like to have bigger bottles than these little 15s or whatever they are. It just is a pain at three in the morning to be out here changing bottles in the middle of the night. Conveniently, Bean Trailers uses Lion Energy just like we've been using for years. So we were able to just throw one of our Lion Energy in. Uh, if you're interested in Lion Energy stuff, click on the link below, save yourself 15%. Whether it's their battery packs, their batteries, their solar panels, we use it all and it works flawlessly. Down in here, we have access or storage for all of our propane lines, all that sort of stuff. And I really thought it would be a pain to have all these separate lines to hook up your propane when you need it in different situations. It's really simple and it's not that big of a deal. The one thing I wish that this line that connects to my propane tanks was long enough to reach over to both tanks. It's just a little bit too short with how I had my tank situated last night to reach over and hook in. If I turned my tanks better, I probably could get it. But if this had an extra foot, that wouldn't be a big deal. And then you wouldn't have to move your tanks in the middle of the night. <laughs> I know it's a small grievance, but you know, trying to be honest with you guys. When we were ordering this, we didn't know which kitchenette to go with. We went with the Premium Plus, I think it's called. And that comes with the electric fridge, the two burner, and the sink with the water pump and water tanks. Uh, you can get the, the lower version, which you just have your water coolers down here but we've really enjoyed having those amenities. We're, we aren't interrupting it that much. Our little grill here has been really handy, but it runs basically on nuclear. It is burning hot or nothing. I have not figured it out yet. Works great for boiling water for coffee and stuff like that, but it is warm to say the least. But it's kind of handy, just folds out. You got your two burners. Um, the cooler has been great. I thought this thing would suck. This Norcold electric cooler has been great. It cools better than our fridge in our big RV, so in our big fifth wheel. And then everything tucks away so nice. Even when this cooler was all the way full when we were going to Canada, the roller still held it. You didn't feel like things were gonna break. And that's one of the things you will notice on a lot of the smaller teardrops is things like that are built just so cheap. And it, it feels like everything's gonna break. That's why we don't review a lot on our channel because we'll go to a dealership and start walking through and we're just like, it doesn't hold up to the bean. Why, why would we advertise this for people? So um, it's really nice at how quality everything is back here. I think that's all on the kitchen, Kara, right? Any thoughts for you, Kara? Uh, thoughts for me. The slider is really nice. However, I have slammed my fingers and skinned myself yep. numerous times so this could be a little bigger a different format there but other than it that would, it'd be nice if it had the little hole right here as well because you end up getting them off from each other and then it doesn't it'd be nice if they had the magnets on both sides and it just didn't matter which one was where you just slide it whatever mm -hmm. that'd be kind of handy 
Small details. So, like we said, we're being honest with you. So, small details. Now, I'll walk you around the outside, and I'm too big to film on the inside of this thing, so I'm gonna let Kara, I'll hold the camera, and she's gonna talk about the inside. Kara's making sure she's done the housekeeping before she shows the inside. <laughs> Don't wanna be slobs in here. Uh, so, yeah, this is our sleeping space. It is a queen-size bed. And I will admit the mattress could be a little better. <laughs> uh, option for the mattress in the bean is a kind of a convertible or like a, a folding mattress. Uh, so you can turn it into a couch. We do have a table underneath this. So if we wanted to sit in our couch with our table, we can. However, we've never used our table and couch. So we're going to be ordering a mattress. We, yeah, after this trip. After laying in my shoulder and my hip and <laughs> we are getting a little old. So we are needing a little more support and comfort in this mattress. How we're going to get it in here will be another story. Even though it is small inside, we still have a lot of storage in here. Like we mentioned, we went to Canada for about 11 days. Uh, we did do a little laundry, but for the most part, we made it just like perfect. So let's mention the furnace and where it comes out. Luckily for me, I sleep on the short end of this mattress <laughs> where the furnace kind of sticks out here. So I have very nice toasty feet last night. <laughs> it is kind of a hassle to get clear down here on your belly and uh, push buttons and try and figure out if it's on or not. Um, also, our power outlets are down here which are really inconvenient as well. <laughs> it would be nice if there was maybe an outlet in the cupboard right here, because then you could just use the shelf to put, you know, your phone in, whatever. Just as note as these are shore power plugs, but we do have like a literal cigarette lighter plug and a couple of USBs right there as well. But they're so inconvenient. <laughs> Especially if you're trying to charge your phone at night and my feet are kicking it. So I have to get a really long cord and then I just put my phone in here. Uh, or we also have USBs up here as well. Once again, nitpicky <laughs> little things. One thing that's important to mention as well is the one piece fiberglass construction. We do not have to really worry at all about this damaging or leaking or anything i mean we'd have to really hit it on something to get it to leak it's just all one piece which it's so nice when we had record-breaking snow this winter and we didn't have to worry about water penetration really at all we walked out opened the doors and everything was just perfect in it and we didn't have to worry about it which is so nice uh if you watch some of the beans advertisements they'll hit this with a sledgehammer and it doesn't even it doesn't mess with it at all it's not like when Elon tried to, you know, throw the thing against the glass on testing the bulletproof glass on his cars. If you're thinking about getting a teardrop off-road trailer, we highly recommend the Bean. They don't pay us anything. They don't give us anything. We just really like them. They're an American company. They're located right here in Utah. And they are not some Lippert-financed, Elkhart, Indiana corporate thing. It's... It's independent. They're making these, they stand behind their products. And it's so nice to see an RV manufacturer, not in Elkhart, not just using whatever Lippert has. Now for towing this, it weighs like 3000 pounds. So you have about a 300 pound pin weight, tongue weight, whatever. So you don't really need a big diesel one ton truck to tow this. It actually probably is counterproductive to what you can go do with these trailers. So we might need to look into getting a different tow vehicle when we take this out and actually go off-road because this thing is very capable of actually going off-road. Comment below. Let us know what you think. Um, do you have a bean? Have you seen them around? What have your experiences been? I know you've probably seen videos from playing with sticks and some of the other YouTubers that have went into detail on their experience with them as well. And we really don't have much negative to say and we just really enjoy using this thing. So as always, remember to like, subscribe, click the bell, all those things we're supposed to tell you and enjoy your weekend.